Hey everyone, I'm here with the Shelly 1PM and the Shelly 1 and we're gonna get these installed today. These are small Wi-Fi relays um, that we're gonna put behind uh, light switches and one behind uh, a, a, a towel rail or a heated towel rail um, in one of the bathrooms. Real excited about these because um, they're relatively affordable. The red one here, the Shelly 1PM, uh, has energy any energy monitoring so it will be able to um, tell us the consumption of that um, heated tower rail um, and then the Shelly one here um, it is purely just on off control so it doesn't have the energy monitoring function um, but what both of them do have is the ability to connect to your Wi-Fi be controlled via an app controlled by Google and Amazon um, as well as other platforms like home assistant um, and natively within the Shelly cloud app Again, excited because um, due to their price, we think we can see a lot of these being used um, in your average home, just setting up simple forms of automation to turn on and off um, tower rails or to control outside lights that didn't have you know, um, any form of automation or you name it. You can put these really anywhere and their size allows you to do that. So very excited, enough talking from me. Let's jump into it. Let's have a look at these being installed and then we'll set them up and yeah, we'll see how they go. So here we have the Shelly 1PM with energy monitoring um, wired to uh, electric tower rail and the reason we did this ultimately there's not many other places in my house that I want to you know um, energy monitor the energy and see you know um, what it is doing but also be able to control it um, remotely so I put the 1 p.m. on this tower rail um, so I just think it's a great application for any home to have you know control and be able to see what their tower rails are, are high consumption products um, so anyway this is all wired in it's connected um, yeah and so far it's working great so uh, real excited and let's uh, jump to the next one. So of course in my excitement I forgot to uh, show you the Shelly 1 um, when the faceplate was off but believe me behind here this four gang at the front door there is a Shelly 1 um, hardwired to uh, this front door light just here. Uh, Alexa turn on the front door. Nice and simple but the reason I put it here is um, there's no automation, even just like a toggle or, or sensor, nothing there at all. It's purely on and off. So what I wanted just for the front door is just a, a simple schedule. You know, it comes on at uh, 9 p.m. and off at 11 p.m. Just because, um, in my opinion, I wanted to have, you know, the front door, some lighting there at the front door. Alexa, turn off the front door. Anyway, that's the Shelly one at the front door. Simple automation, simple schedule. But uh, again, in my excitement, I, I forgot to show you, so I apologize. So now that we have both of those devices um, installed, they should jump into pairing mode automatically. You can see that um, red LED flashing. Now within the Shelly app on my smartphone, I can select um, which device. And in this case, I already have the tower rail connected. I'm gonna connect the Shelly one at the front door. So I've selected that, it's looking for it, it's asking to join my network, I give it approval, and now it's currently searching for that device within the app. Um, boom, you can see there on my TP-Link, it has identified a new Wi-Fi device and it's connecting that into the Shelly app. So again, you wait a little bit longer, just let it um, do its thing, and boom, one new device discovered, and uh, it's in the app now, and I can connect it um, or pair it to a certain room. So I've already got the bathroom set up. As you can see there, I have the tower out in the bathroom. Um, and there you can see the Shelly one, and I'm gonna add it um, to a room. So I'll give it a name, I'll call it the front door. Naming it's pretty important, because then that helps, you know, when you pull it over to voice control. Give it a device type or the pitch of it. You can see there, I forgot to give it, um, add it to a room. So I will um, have to add entry and select entry, which I already created. So um, entry, and now that is connected, and now it's wanting me to connect to the Shelly Cloud. So ultimately giving me remote control of this device outside of my network. That's in, so now I have that device on the Shelly Cloud, and I can turn it on and off very simply within the app. So there you have it. I'm jumping forward um, a couple of days now, but that is just a taste of the Shelly range, just a Shelly 1 p.m. and the Shelly uh, 1. But the Shelly Wi-Fi range of relays and, and sensors is quite large. Um, within Australia and New Zealand, there are only four 
um, high voltage products that are certified, the Shelly Dimmer 2, the Shelly 2.5, the Shelly 1PM, and the Shelly 1, but their sensor and their low, low voltage range from the flood sensor, motion sensor, and humidity and temperature sensor, and a bunch of others, is you know um, with these and in the Shelly Cloud app, you can create quite complex automations with lighting, uh, motor control, you know, other forms of uh, smart products. You can pull it into Amazon, Google, and then Home Assistant, and, and that will go even deeper. Um, so yeah, we're a big fan. Uh, they're Wi-Fi based, so your network, your Wi-Fi network needs to be strong, and that's a non-negotiable. If you don't have a good network, don't even bother with Wi-Fi devices, period, smart home. Um, but yeah, we'll keep, we'll, we'll, we think they're great. We think they're moving pretty quickly um, and we think they're quite affordable. So this is a bit of the Shelly One range. We'll, we'll keep an eye on them. Stay tuned with us and uh, yeah, we'll keep you updated as more stuff comes to New Zealand and is available for your little smart home project. Cheers.